Hello there, welcome. So we've got some new shiny things to talk about. Yes, it's Microsoft Fabric. So at the time of this video, it's been in public preview now for I think a little over 10 days. So the reason I've actually called this video an unintroduction to Microsoft's new data platform is, look, it's been covered. In the last 10 days, there have been lots of videos and blogs introducing Fabric, both from Microsoft themselves, plus members of the data community, right? As of now, I'm not really gonna be able to offer you anything new in terms of explaining what Fabric is. In the description of this video are all the things that I've loved, uh, videos, blogs about people explaining Fabric. Yeah, so go and check those out. The unintroduction part really is, because we've got some things to talk about, or I'd like to talk about in terms of Fabric and Synapse Analytics. So the first thing, yes, you know, I've been involved in the private preview for a few months. And, you know, part of that is you get little bits, you know, services, features, fed, you know, over a certain amount of time. So you kind of build up, you know, knowledge as you go. But yes, even the announcement at Build was really overwhelming because all of a sudden, bang, you got hit with data warehousing, data engineering, you know, a new look, a new feel, new services, new features, new pricing. And even I was overwhelmed. Yeah, I've been drip fed stuff over the last few months, but even I could appreciate there's a lot there. There's a lot of stuff there to cover. So I think that it could be a bit overwhelming. Yeah, I feel overwhelmed by how much stuff there is about, fa about you know fabric out there, but it is in public preview. It's not GA, it's not production ready. So there's plenty of time for everyone just to, Take a deep breath, yeah. Go through the content from Microsoft, go through the content from the data platform community. There's loads of time to get to grips. So we just need to take a deep breath and just, you know, learn as we go along for this, uh, for this new platform. But what I did want to talk about, and I don't know whether it's an elephant in the room at the moment, but it's Synapse Analytics. Because what Fabric has done is it's brought Synapse workloads and evolved them into Fabric. So what's going to happen with the Synapse Analytics platform as it is? So I think just to contrast Fabric and you know, current Synapse Analytics is that Fabric is a SaaS service. Software is a solution. Everything is essentially hidden from you in terms of the compute. Whereas with Synapse Analytics, you've got all those different engines. You've got dedicated, serverless, Spark, pipelines. I mean, if you're running mapping data flows, it you know runs on Spark clusters anyway. But we've got separate compute engines, and you know they're very. It's very much a PaaS service. We can get in there, and we can understand to a certain extent what's happening with those different services. That's gone with Fabric. We've got compute and all of the different workloads like SQL, like Spark, Power BI, Report Rendering, it's all going to be done by Fabric Compute. Yep, so we've got that, that separation there. Now in terms of Synapse and what's going to happen to it, all I know is from Microsoft themselves, they're going to be supporting it for the foreseeable future. And it kind of makes sense because with dedicated SQL pools and serverless, you've got very distinct services there. I'm not going to use the word specialized, but really those services are used for very specific workloads and use cases, large, large scale data warehousing and you know data lake exploration. Fabric, yes, you've got data warehousing in there. You've got um, very much you know, underpinned by Lakehouse technology. But yeah, you've got these specialized services over there, you know, doing this thing. So as I understand it for the foreseeable future, Synapse, good to go, okay? Now with Fabric, yes, it is software as a service. 
they have brought Synapse in. And I guess at this stage, we can say that this is probably Synapse Gen 3, where they've taken the concepts of dedicated, they've taken the concepts of serverless, rolled it into a single SQL service, you know, underpinned by you know, the engine that drove serverless, enhanced it, and that's now what's running the SQL service in Fabric itself. But of course, what that does, bringing Synapse into Fabric, or into Power BI basically, is it's opened up the world of data warehousing and the world of data engineering to Power BI people and vice versa. So now people who are working on data warehousing solutions, data integration and data engineering, they're now being brought into the world of Power BI. So lots of opportunity for some of those walls to fall even, to get even lower between, you know, those two, those two services. But of course, Fabric has, you know, the concept of personas as well. So it's going to be interesting what happens with roles, you know, as we move forward into there. But really, I'm going to be concentrating mostly on the Synapse data warehousing side of things. So yes, as a side note, I'm pretty pleased that the name Synapse is being carried forward into Fabric. So that's cool. Yeah, and I know I, I did joke on Twitter about crying at Microsoft about please keep the Synapse name. Um, it may or may not have happened. I'll, I'll leave you to decide for that. But I'm glad. I'm glad that Synapse you know, is going to exist in there. And to that end, I'm going to be looking more at the Synapse data warehousing side of things. So in the next video that's going to be up very soon in the next day or so, I'm going to start to look at what we can expect from Synapse data warehousing. And one gotcha. Yep, there can't be a Microsoft product release without a little bit of confusion on the service itself. So we're going to cover that as well in that first video in Synapse Data Warehousing. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because that's what we're going to do going forward in terms of things that I'm going to do around Fabric. It's going to be around the Synapse Data Warehouse, maybe some of the Lake Housey stuff as well because you know, it's all underpinned by that. Um, but I leave all the Lake House stuff to the to the Lake House professionals. You know who you are. So that's what we're going to do going forward. So as I said, please consider subscribing to the channel because there's lots more to come on that. Plus existing Synapse. Yep, that's not going anywhere. I'm not going to go anywhere in terms of that content. So that's what we're going to do going forward. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye.